welcome back to another video. How's it doing? How are you all? Oh, how's it been? Oh, so I'm just gonna fix this up. Now, you guys probably will be wondering. It's been two weeks since you uploaded. There was no vlog last Friday. There was no vlog on Sunday. Where have you been? Well, to be honest, this is gonna be a story um, video because I'm gonna tell you what's been happening. Um, so. We'll start from the story where Monday um, I went to work like I normally would. So I need to sit down. So Monday morning I got up, felt fine, did my usual, you know, get ready for work. Um, then I got on the bus and I started feeling really sore in like the... It's really I started getting really sore like near the belly button area um, and I felt sick I felt like I was gonna throw up um, and I had, originally I just thought it was this bus sickness so I just went off to work did my usual stuff um, got to work and I started feeling a bit worse I continued to work started work continued to work for about an hour until our first break for the day and I just felt horrible I went pale in the face and I was just did not feel like eating whatsoever um, so I'd only had one meal for that whole day and that was in the morning so I after that one hour at work I decided no, that's it I couldn't handle it I can't be here I need to go home so I talked to my boss supervisor and she said yeah just go home so I went home um got back on the bus went home because I couldn't I called my dad and he couldn't take me home because he was at work and he was in a very important meeting at the time and he couldn't leave so I had to go get by the bus and mum picked me up from the bus stop um so then I came home and then I came to Tuesday morning I started feeling worse, the pain was starting to move um, and then it came to Wednesday which was the day I went to see the doctor um, it got really really bad, it kept moving the pain from my belly button further to the right side of my my belly and it came to Wednesday I went to the doctors and the doctor did the usual checking she pushed my stomach, I felt really bad and she's like, okay, so if your pain gets any worse or you start throwing up, go straight down to emergency right away and stuff like that so then that afternoon I felt oh, 10 times worse than I did that morning I started throwing up and then my dad came home from work and we all, so dad was like, no, let's take you down to emergency so I went down to the hospital um, got triaged, you know, checked into the hospital and they did the tests, they did blood tests, they did urine tests, they did extra, you know, all that stuff. Um, my heart rate went really, really high. They had to put me on, um, fluids for a drip. So I was connected to a drip in this arm, so I was connected to a, a fluid bag. Um, and then from that moment on I was connected to a fluid bag the whole time I was in hospital um so the first one was only for over like an hour or something and then the next bag after that I was put on for six hours um so that bag went run for six hours and then it came to about nine nine o'clock when they decided that I was getting um admitted to the hospital so I got admitted and about 9 30 I got taken up to my ward from the emergency department um, where when I got up there they did all the checks blood pressures and all that stuff checked me in um, admitted me into the hospital and all that stuff and then about I think it was about 10 30 11 o'clock my parents got told by the nurses that it's probably the best if they went home um, it was after visiting hours anyway but they were just wanting to do you know get me 
checked in, it was only the first night, and they could tell that they were getting tired and stuff. So they're just like, I think it's best for you and for Sarah if you went home and come back in the morning. So that's what happened. They went home um, and about one o'clock in the morning, the nurse came in to give her medication once it all got added into the system. I was still throwing up at this point. Um, and then I came to Thursday morning, I got taken down for an ultrasound of my gut, which was really bad. Um, pushing on my stomach because the pain had moved all the way down to the bottom right and the pain was absolutely ridiculous like I just could not handle it I was screaming I was crying um I had an x-ray which that wasn't too bad because I was just laying there they weren't actually pushing on me or anything but the ultrasound they were and then I got taken up to back up to my ward where I had more bloods done and then later later that afternoon or in the afternoon the doctors came around the surgeons and they said um, later this afternoon we're going to be taking you down for surgery um, because you've got appendicitis so that means if you don't know appendix is in your gut which is the little like I'll show you a picture I'll put a picture here the little thing at the bottom of your gut and um, when you get colon stuck in there it can actually be life-threatening if they don't take it out so that later that afternoon around four-ish I got taken down to the theatre they did all their you know post theatre stuff got put into the bed they put me to sleep and did their surgery about two hours later I was in um, recovery I slowly started waking up but not very much that night was a really bad night for me. Um, I was very drowsy all night. It got to the point where after they took me up to the back up to my ward, um, I wasn't really responsive. I had to um, get put on oxygen because I was struggling to breathe. Um, so I was on oxygen all night, and it was just not fun. Um, I was meant to go home the next day. But because I was still so drowsy and out of it and not really responsive at the time, they decided to keep me in for an extra night or the extra day and night just to watch me and hopefully I would be better the next day. It came to Saturday where, um, so Friday I start, I got, got, blah, 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 got feral clear, start eating again. So I had some food. Again, I threw it up, but that was normal post this all this happening. Um, see, that's my gut right then. That's how my gut is like at the moment post surgery. Um, so, okay, this Saturday when I finally, when I in the morning I felt so good, the doctor came in. Um, the only thing that was going to really keep me in still was the pain because I was in so much pain still but the nurses and my family agreed that and the doctors the surgeons agreed that I would best benefit if I was at home with just the painkillers they gave me um and the nausea tablets I have to have every day so I have to have pain meds three times a day and nausea tablets three times a day um to go with all my other medication I'm on um but yeah, so that's pretty much where I've been. Last week was a struggle. I've had surgeries, as I did. I'll show you guys my wounds. Well, I won't show you my wounds, obviously, because they're covered, but... Yeah, there we go. So, this is where they took the my... So, the appendix is here. This is where they got the appendix from. This is where they leave it. They put the little tool in, and then I have another one that's down there. You can just see it. Just there. So we've got one, two, three, three holes, and they're just solvable stitches. I go to the doctor GP tomorrow, where I'll be getting the these taken off, and then there's the little strips which they fall off on their own, and then the stitches dissolve on their own. So yeah, that's the story. It was a very very scary time, um, obviously. 
my parents were freaked out. They had no idea what was going on. They spent most of the time at the hospital. My dad took the rest of the week off, obviously. Um, he went back to work yesterday. But he's taking a day off tomorrow to take me to my appointment. So I see the GP tomorrow, which I'll get these taken off. And then I go back to see the surgeon next week to have my pre or my post operation appointment where they'll check it all out and everything. So yeah, so that obviously you guys know what my bed setup is like at the moment. Um, also I'm still going through my hip injury as well, so I'm still in pain for that. Which is which I see the surgeon for that next week as well. So much going on. So I'm currently staying in the spare room again. I seem to be spending a lot of time in this room lately. Sleeping there, so this is just for now. Um, we're actually talking the other day with my parents. We're actually going to be getting my room re, -ma re all done. We're going to be getting rid of that bed and getting a new bed, which I might be getting another bed. I'm not quite sure yet. Um, because I have funding there, we might as well use the funding I've got to get all these stuff I need. So, so yeah, that's pretty much where I've been the last week. Um, and it's been two weeks since I've uploaded the video, but that's where I was last week, and so it pretty much just happened randomly, like, just came out of nowhere. I was feeling fine, and then, bam, just came out of nowhere, and the pain just got worse and worse and worse, so I recommend if you ever feel pain in that area, straight up, just go to the hospital, it will help you, um, if you guys ever need tips on about this about this let me know I can help you guys but anyways that's it for me um this is actually hurting my arm holding my phone right now so I'm gonna say catch you guys later always be happy smile and enjoy life because the main three things of life and I'll catch you guys in the next one peace out don't forget to like subscribe comment down below and turn on the notification bell to get notified whenever I upload the next video and I'll catch you guys in the next one I don't know when that will be depending on how my recovery is going but hopefully I'll film again very, very soon for you guys to see. But that's the update. That's the story where I've been. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.